hard for me to get to. Yeah, I think it usually catches about now when we're commenting, but waiting to make sure we're live. Hey guys, I'm gonna do a little baby wave. <laughs> I'm, I feel like I'm sitting awkward because I've got stuff next to me. Okay, I think we're live. Okay, hey friends, happy Wednesday, friends day. I'm so glad you're here in the studio with me. Here with me today is also, also here with me today <laughs> is Emily. Hello. And I'm going to do a couple of quick little show and tells of videos that are coming up. And then we're going to paint a hummingbird tonight. Traceable's on my website. So I don't want to lose anybody right away. So this is coming up this Friday, July 15th. Is that in frame, Emily? A little higher. A little higher, 2022. There you go. Is that pretty good? I titled it Specs Appeal. It's an alpaca. <laughs> Makes me laugh. And would you set it down mm. on the bigger easel on the floor there? Yeah. And then coming up Sunday, July 17th, 2022. You like my post-its so I don't forget. I showed this one last week. Uh, sunbathing cat. Maya. It does. It looks just like one of Emily's cat, tabby cats, Maya. So those are the two videos coming up. This is what we're painting tonight. Look at the juicy colors. Here, I think I can get it closer, but I never know like if I drift off frame. Emily? You're good. Yeah. Okay. Um, it has a traceable on my website, anitro.com. Here's what the traceable looks like. Okay, I'm gonna grab the phone. We're gonna fly over behind my head to my art table like we've done many times and we'll get started right away. And my foot was sticking to the vinyl drop cloth <laughs> <laughs> underneath my art table in case I drop a paintbrush or a painting. Sorry guys, I'm just stepping over wires. All right, and then over. Mm -hmm. Over and under. That's gotta, I would get seasick. At least I warned him. Under. How'd I do? Oh. Huh. Not so hot so? Not so hot so this time. I was so excited last time. Got it all pretty good. I see Cindy and Bonita in the chat. Oh, and Susie. Hi, ladies. Thanks for coming. I'm going to still mess with cords a little bit here. Or not cords, know? but wire. Nah. I'm just going to okay. throw it over to my right. This hopefully doesn't make too much annoying noise how are we doing i can barely see the top of my phone oh here i could look at my ipad okay cool so this is a four inch by four inch canvas from michaels gosh i don't know what they cost they come in a pack of nine they're really inexpensive i like them they can sit on a shelf this is just artist masking tape to keep it up a little higher for videoing um i painted here we'll get going here i put my tray or oh, i painted it yellow got a lot of puddles on my palette because I've already painted this one that I just showed you. Here, there's a, if you want a screenshot in case I forget. Why do I feel like we have a bad shadow today? Um, we have been. The sun's moved. I think it's about oh. as far north as it gets. Have we? I mean, yeah, we're past the summer solstice, but it's, it's found a hole in the trees. Yeah. Yeah, so we get, I've been getting, like sometimes I video and I get a little white spot on the side of my face. <laughs> Like, uh, you know, it is what it is. So this background color is cad yellow medium, a little brown, a little white, just to kind of mute it down. You could use um, yellow oxide and some white. Here, some you. This isn't on my palette, but that's yellow oxide. You know, whatever you want. You could paint it straight up yellow. I just kind of wanted a little, a little browner. Okay, and then on my palette, oh, that just fell, but I don't need it. Okay, I, uh, I can play fetch. No, I don't need it. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to decide where to start. Let's start here with the blue. Thalo blue green shade. Everyone, oh, surprise. <laughs> Quinacridone magenta. So that's that one right there. Black. Mars black. Bought a big one. Um, oh, I skipped titanium white. I just saw you post something, and I could just see your name. Oh. <laughs> That's fine. Titanium white. And then cad yellow up here. So right here is cad yellow medium hue. And then all these other colors I mixed from those. Basically, so it's basically primary. Some people would say red's the primary, but that quinacridone makes a much prettier red when you mix it with this cad yellow. Um, I think it makes better oranges, too. 
So that's just my opinion. Okay, and also that way you don't have to buy quite so many colors. We talked about that a little bit last time. So I made an orange from Conacridone Magenta Cad Yellow. This is redder. This is more orange. And then pulled some of that orange over, put some black in it, and made a brown. So you, you kind of can see the path on my messy palette here. Um, this is just Quinacridone Magenta and white to make a pink. Uh, the greens I mixed from Thalo Blue Green Shade and Cad Yellow. I've got kind of a, I'll just scrape that off. Kind of a funky, funky junky. Probably want it back. What else? Oh, the purple. It's just a little bit of blue and quite a bit of quinacridone to make the purple. If you want it more blue, add more blue. If you want it more pinky um, violet, would you say, Emily? Add more quinacridone. And then the beige is just a little brown. I think I pulled in some of my muted yellow. Yeah, let's see here. Let's grab a little white. Whoops. So one thing is like, this is too much really for this palette. It's kind of hard. Yeah, so that has some yellow in it because this... I don't know if you can see that, but that's kind of co much cooler of a beige color. It's really too much, but then you can see it all in the video. Um, if I weren't videoing, I'd probably have a couple different. I'd probably have a warm palette maybe and a cool palette. Sometimes I have a background palette and then the thing I'm painting palette. Makes it gives it a little more room to navigate. And I think that sets the table, Emily. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've got my bird up high, so hopefully that works with the camera. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah. I was noticing, I was thinking that to myself, that it was focusing on the um, the painting better. But I, I couldn't tell that you have it up higher. I well, know I can kind of see the little tape or whatever you have below oh, it. Oh, yeah, I've got a little artist masking tape below mm -hmm. it. We'll see. It's a little it's a little wonky, but we'll see. We I just get you like a little block or yeah, something. Or even a bigger block. So the background is complementary colors, basically. Oh, here, the reference photo. I didn't show that, I don't think. Well, if you're painting way on the edge, you can push it over more. You're, you have like two video inches. Okay, <laughs> so um, some of it of has to do with how much room I have to the left that you oh, can't okay. see on my desk, but I will, okay. I will do that. The video reference, uh, the, vi the photo is referenced in the video description. Isn't that pretty? So I really tried to take a lot of inspiration and follow this photo. I mean, I added more color. Okay, I think that sets the table. So pink and green are really close complements. Red and green are complements. I'm trying to decide where I want to put my finished paint because that's pretty much what I'm going to paint from. I'm going to put it up here. So, and then if you mix them together, you're going to get kind of mud. So all I did was take a number 10 Filbert, it's probably a 3 8 inch. Uh, this is Zhu Ting, it's from Amazon. Really inexpensive brushes. And just, you know, started, because I know I want some pinks up here. And I'm just gonna kind of paint circles. You could paint however you want. And then, like, I grab a little red to change it up, and it mixes with what's already on my brush. And it's okay if it dries, because you can come back with another layer. But this one might take us a while, just because I think this background took me two or three times to paint it. Hmm. Two or three layers. layers. Just depends, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just depends. Although, since I'm doing this again, it might go a little quicker. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna paint too much over the sides, because you guys don't need to see that necessarily. I can paint that off camera later. Guess who's already made an appearance in the lives? Well, if I guess wrong, then I'm embarrassed. <laughs> True. I guess it's um, Chase uh, dropped his 9.99. Chase, man, thank you, thank you so much. Hey, if he's still in there, everybody wish Chase a happy birthday. Yeah, tomorrow is Chase's birthday. Tomorrow's Chase's birthday. Mm -hmm. I have mint, mint brownie birthday brownies in the freezer ready to go home with Emily tonight. And he's going to be sugared out because I made lemon cookies with a lemon cream cheese frosting. Wow. <laughs> and then and then he made 
a, a Biscoff, like the cookie, whatever, ice cream. Oh, yum. So, it's like a cinnamon and, ice cream. And he made a mint chocolate, a mint for now. The, it'll be mint chocolate chip once it's like frozen in and you do the add-ins and yum. stuff. Yum. So we're full of sweets. Does he go through a lot of cream with his new ice cream maker? Is that what? It's not too much. Like, I think we got three or I don't know, how many have we made? We made the lemon, the vanilla. Um, I think he got through four out of um, four pints of ice cream out of one of our creams. Oh. Huh. Because it's cream, whole milk, um, which I had to Google because they don't call it whole milk anymore. It's vitamin D milk. Oh, weird. I didn't yeah. know that. So I had to, I was, we were literally in the store. I'm like, where's the whole it milk? It might have a W on it, like depending on the brand. I've seen it like in the organic, it has a W on it. Yeah, we weren't looking. There was um, whole and organic, but like, you know, all the normal brands, like the High V store brand, the, um, what you call it, the... Like, oh, what's the, not Lando Lakes, that's a butter. Yeah, that's the, milk too. Is that a milk too? Okay. Yeah. Um, they all it, call it vitamin D milk. Because like everyone would have 2% like skim and then. Um, I suppose it sells better. Like a buttermilk, but they would, they were all vitamin D. I'm just going to kind of <laughs> clean off my brush. Um. Lori, Cindy, and Bonita say um, happy birthday to Chase, and Cindy and Bonita called him Chase Man. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me happy. <laughs> so, yeah, that, he has no choice but for that to stick now. Uh, I am impressed. He shows up every week. That's amazing. I'm just going to add a little white so it covers a little bit. So I'm kind of thinking... Warm on this cor corner and then greens everywhere else, or greenish. I wonder if since he donates to your live stream every week, if he gets suggested more painters than, um, huh. like, if, if his, because I know I, I've, every once in a while I'll get, if I've been, if I had your videos Too playing slow. or something, uh -huh. I will get, uh, a paint person or something like that. But I wonder if his has been infiltrated since Oops. he shows up every week. Has made an icky color. I just I was just saying to myself in my head I'm going too slow. And then he's kinda of made a much ickier color than I wanted. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if he does. Or maybe we'll go this route. I like the um but it doesn't look so hot. I mean, it takes a little while. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I really like the... I think I the first time I saw the hummingbird was in the thumbnail. Like, in the thumbnail photo, I think I saw it uploaded on Canva. Oh. And um, I was like, ooh, I like that. It's like pretty that juicy. Background. It's a juicy photo. Yeah. It's, it's different in comparison to your... I feel like if you play with compliments, usually you play with blue and orange. Oh, I do blue and orange a lot because you have skies. You have yeah. animals and skies. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought this would be fun to play with a different compliment. Mm -hmm. So they are mixing green and red, and they're wet, and it's getting kind of gray. thought I might just show you. Plus, if I pick up a little bit of that general, or no, the black chalk pastel, it's going to get gray also. So you could paint this whole background and not paint around the bird. Um, I was thinking this would be a little faster for me. I don't know, though, because I've got to go around the edges, you know? So if I get a little mud, it's all right. I can come back with a layer. I've also got a Rachel Ray, so if I feel like I'm oh, you do. spending too much time on this background, I can just... <laughs> just sneeze and then yeah. shove that off camera and bring in the Rachel Ray. Yeah, every time I say that, I feel like they're not going to know what that means. And then it's like, well, Rachel Ray, we, we love you. You know, it's not like it's a bad thing. I don't know. 
I feel a little thing. bad calling it a Rachel Ray. That's just, I mean, there's got to be other shows that, cooking shows that do that or oh, whatever. Yeah. But, like, the only reference I have is um, Rachel Ray. Because I can't remember. She would always be on in the morning before. I think she still is. Um, whatever I wanted to watch on TV. So I'd have to get through her last, like, five minutes before my show came on. Yeah. So one thing nice, uh, the air conditioning is running to my right, and there's a fan out in the hallway to my left. So when you want it to dry fast, it dries fast. I can already come over here right on top of the pink. So really when you do this, it just kind of indicates some um, out of focus leaves, maybe flowers in the background. I don't know. This has a bokeh effect, which we did on the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. You could call that, it could, I could just be a light white flower or something that's out of focus. Yeah, I bet it's like a crabapple tree. Yeah, like springtime. Mm -hmm. We should have painted this sooner. I don't know when I, I think it was on Unsplash I found this. That's where I find most of yes, them. Yes, I pinned the reference photo too. Okay. It's um, a pinned comment. I hadn't seen, I hadn't seen this one before. I don't know why I had don't know why it popped up, and I don't know why I had missed it. Because so I've got collections on Unsplash under my name for you know future painting ideas. Okay, I'm just kind of doing something there, and it's not changing it. Let's grab a little. So originally, I had this more red back here, but I didn't like. I wanted more contrast since this is the eye and the face, and so I made it more pink right there. Um, you don't have to; just a thought that I had. So now I'm, I've learned a little. And I will not like this background for a few days, no matter how much I mess with it. I just never really do in the moment. I don't know what that is with me and backgrounds. To me, there's, they're also the most fun, relaxing thing you can do. I don't know why. <laughs> You know? Mm -hmm. It's like there's not a whole lot of pressure here. Oh, I forgot I was painting. That's probably why it's more relaxing. But why do I dislike them? Oh, I think that's just you. It's just my weirdness. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a lot of people, but I think... It's just because it's your own, your own thing and you're sitting right on top of it. It's probably because I'm sitting on top of it. I didn't really like this hummingbird painting. Now I'm like, wow, I love that. Whereas, like, once you forget about it for a day, you can appreciate it again as a third party. See, Susie, Susie um, Graham says, such a beautiful background. Thank you. Thank you. I was fishing for a compliment. <laughs> I wasn't, yeah, I should have given it to you. I wasn't giving it to you. <laughs> yeah, I, I forget that that's what it sounds like, but I, I just, I don't. And I, I share my thoughts, hoping that maybe it's helpful. Like, I have negative thoughts, or I get scared, or I don't like something, or, you know. I think they've gone to thinner canvas on these. I'm getting are more. These, the... these are the Michaels. Oh, okay. I thought they were maybe your cutesy little. Um... No, those are the... you got those in the canvas board, didn't you? Yeah. Uh... The American Art Supply. Yeah. Right? And I did someone. Oh yeah, someone in last live said that they really they use them too. Yeah. I liked them. Well, that was kind of neat. We had 15 friends with us. <gasps> hey friends, I'm just thinking darker corner down here. So that's why I'm kind of messing with it. Actually, it's a little bit like finger painting and playing with as a kid. You really shouldn't get too uptight about it. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you guys like seeing this. I don't show it often. It's a small painting, so I can do it here. It's a little bit of a different background yeah. for you, so I would have, I would like to see. No, I'm just, yeah, I'm just saying, oh, sorry, I don't know where I was going, I guess. I was, I was answering your question. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know I asked a question. Well, you said the... <laughs> I bet I did. That you hope this is something you would like to see or oh, something okay. like that. Oh, okay. Cool, thanks. Yeah. Sometimes I'm... I would prefer to be more... In, I keep dipping it in that orange. I must not be getting it. <laughs> oh, and the, or, the orange is definitely a tra very transparent orange because my yellow is semi-transparent. And the quinacridone, even if it says it's not transparent, oh, it doesn't have the little... Oh, it's completely transparent. That box is open. So that's why, too, is sometimes I use um, 
a basics orange, which is a little bit more opaque. It must have a little bit of white in it. I think that's kind of what's throwing me a little bit. I am carrying a little bit over to the sides just so when I go and paint the sides later, I won't you know what to do. Know what to do, and it'll kind of kind of blend in. I think we need a little green. Mm, I hope Chase isn't still here, but <laughs> kind of gossip about her. Yeah. Uh, well, no. It just I think it will not make him upset, but like you know, it'll be like, he'll be like, oh, um, make him sad. Yeah, so we, since now we have a house, we have more than three windows, and um, right behind the kitchen sink is a window, so we've been growing, like, um, what's back there? I always want to say dill, but it's not dill. Thyme, rosemary, and oregano, which I have to put a gate around every night, because um, the I know mango for sure gets on the counter and peruses for, like, if something's soaking in the sink, but also they, like people food so like I don't I'm not really worried about them trying to chew the plants but oregano is bad for cats so that was a long-winded anyway so I think I'm we're all, we also grow green onions and basil and I think the green onions have to go oh the, do they need dirt like, instead of water I think for they were doing good for a while and now I think they needed dirt and I didn't give them dirt so they kind of skunky or something they either like it's kind of like what it looks like when a plant is getting too much sun. But then um, I pulled one out and he had um, possibly some fuzzy on him. Oh, like some fungus or mold or... Yeah. Oh. But I was... That'll make Chase sad. Yeah. Chase, but I Chase bought... is a chef. I mean, he's not a chef <laughs> for his day job, but he's definitely a chef. Um, But his birthday dinner request um, was... Um, Chase may be a chef, but I know how to make a mean salad. And so I'm making the seven, your seven layer salad. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Um, so, um, he, uh, but so I have more green onions, so I'll just stick them in water, let them grow a little bit and then I'll pot them. But yeah. Oh, that is sad. It is sad. I'm just kind of cleaning off my brush and deciding if I like it. All right. I've spent almost 25 minutes on that. Well, I had an intro. I spent 20 minutes on that already. And I think it needs another layer of paint. I could um, can kind of kick it up a notch. I just wiggle sometimes so I get different shapes. And I go over into my birds sometimes. I was going to... Rachel, I was going to switch, and I thought, well, shoot, maybe I should give it a little, a little more love. How do I know where to put color? I'm generally thinking warmer up here, but I, I tie it in by putting, like, some warmer over the green. See, I've always, see I'm, the, the problem when I paint three in a row is I like this one now because it's done. <laughs> and it's not going to turn out just like that one. That's my other problem I've got going right now. <laughs> You're giggling. I'm going to make this a little lighter. Um, Bonita says, um, I need to add a hummingbird photo um, to the Facebook group, in parentheses. I took that currently hangs in my half bath. The bird is in flight and obviously peeing. It has a flower faded in the background. So cute. <laughs> That's a good bathroom photo. That's a good bathroom. That photo. is. The hummingbird bud of Bonita's I painted is at Ginger's hangup right now. Oh, at, oh yeah, he's not. He's the not. other gallery, yep. I love his little butt cheeks. Oh, they weren't closed. I don't know why their Facebook page said that. I got a notification that they messaged you back on Instagram saying that they were closed on Monday and Tuesday. Or Monday and Sunday or something. Sunday, yeah, but I'm like, well, okay, but today's Tuesday. So I messaged them back finally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we'll just post that next week. Again. Yeah, we'll just do it again. I should probably just reschedule that. Well, no, you're next week, the week after. Oh. We're doing business now. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have 20 friends. Hi, 20 friends. 21 just, friends. I am just painting <laughs> a, I'm just painting like oh. little circles and color on top of color now, which I like because it starts to get a little more depth. 
I don't know if you can see that, but I'm painting yellow on top of some cool green. It kind of warms it up. It's starting to come to life as a mm -hmm. background. Does it need like a little... I really like where it's going. I wish... You can't see my face on me. My cheeks are bright red. Are they? I can't... Yeah. I don't think mine are. Are you warm? Yeah. Can we turn the overhead fan off? No, no, no. <laughs> That'll dry my paints out yeah. really fast. I'm just kind of trying to put in some... You can play with this for absolutely forever. How does it look? Is it a little dull? Is it done? I'm comparing it. I'm looking at it on YouTube. First Real Life. I like it a lot. I don't know if you need a Rachel Ray. Unless you well, want might, it dry. It's well, not dry. Four minutes, so. In four minutes is technically our normal. Um, oh, switch my break, normal commercial. So. We're going to put a little lighter now in here maybe. Um, there's something else that I was going to say. Yeah, we need to get you the, I think I mentioned it before, but the frog towel, which is like a towel you just get wet and then it naturally like cools like frog skin does. Oh, yeah. Or it's based off the idea of whatever frog skin does or their, yeah, their skin. Um, and just like hang it over your neck as you paint. Could. Keep you cool. I could not complain about it during the live. I can complain about it. Am I liking that a little better? Am I, I just like, how do you know when to stop? You don't, you just do. Okay, wait a minute, I'm gonna do one more though. Because <laughs> I'm looking at my two samples. I'm gonna put a little more, I kind of like the hot magenta. And it's a nice transparent color. Yeah, I really like it. So I'm gonna put a little more. I just wanna keep it away from the edge of the face um, because I, that's gonna be dark there. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a quick commercial and as I keep painting. The name of the peeing hummingbird painting, or painting, um, photograph that Bonita took is called, ooh, gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. It's a great name. Gotta go. Okay, I'm gonna switch, and we're gonna talk, I just have a quick little announcement. That's not too, that, gosh, I don't know that I like that one any better. It's just when I'm on top of them. Actually, now that I've put the one I was just painting back a little bit, I like it better. I think it's just because I'm on top of it. Okay, so um, next week lives, we're gonna, Emily came up with the, I, the brilliant idea of doing a series of um, lives that are alphabetical. So next week is gonna be A is for Apple. We'll painting on something small, like a four by four, or six by six. And then that way you can see brush stroke direction, layering of colors, and all that kind of stuff. We may not do it every, like for the next 26, how many letters are in alphabet? 26. 20, 20, we won't. I'll throw in some on the easels, I'll throw in like some Halloween if it doesn't fit, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna have a series that, cause like these little ones are good for beginners and then the more I paint small, the faster, the better I'm, the quicker I'm getting better at painting, the faster I'm getting better at painting because I get more paintings in and I'm making more decisions, you know, and learning more things. And if I'm spending a bunch of time on one painting. So anyway, if that makes sense. And then I want to thank Catherine Ann B for sending support through PayPal. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. That means a bunch to us. I just ordered more of these. <laughs> so thank you, Catherine. Really appreciate it. Okay. That's the announcements. Well, I think it also, the like painting A to Z, it also, helps with the it gives you a structure without like having to like doing a cat series where you have to constantly paint cats and what if you're sick of painting cats yeah or something like that or like a flower series and what if you're sick of painting flowers well but i was also, trying to make it about them <laughs> oh. well but i was thinking it also helps with the like what do you paint like or what do you do for the next live well if we don't know what to do and you don't have like a painting you're trying to get done so we don't do it on the easel well we're on the letter b so We'll figure out something that starts with a B. Well, and oh gosh, Emily, we want to have them make suggestions. Yes. That so, would be fun too. So we're going to do A is for Apple next week. But if you guys want to, at any point in time, before we actually do the B, I think I'll do a bumblebee. But I mean, if there's a B theme that you want me to, you want to suggest, we'll see what I can do. Mm -hmm. You know. And we can, you can also, like, we'll probably ask for that again during the yeah, next Yeah, do the next one. So. Whenever 
there's a letter, we'll probably ask for the next letter. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't mind knowing a little ahead of time just because I schedule out. So I'm just going to paint that eye medium blue so I don't lose it. And then I can go up and down in value to um, make it look more like an eye. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab, oh, like a brownish black. Oh, that's a lot of black. I've got a messy palette. Susie says she likes the theme. Oh, good. I do, too. Yeah, it'd be fun. Well, and I think I'll do more little ones that way. Less, you know, less. Mm -hmm. I think that might end up being helpful in the long run. We'll figure it out. It's also kind of a good excuse to test run, like, would people want that animal? Because, like, you painted that one bird, and you're like, this is going to take a minute to sell because these birds aren't here. And then it sold, like, the day you brought it. I sold it the day I went to work at the gallery. I hadn't even got I mean, I had it in the system, but I didn't even, mm -hmm. like, take it for the monthly show. I just took it and it sold. <laughs> it's like, oh! And, the, and the, the gal that bought it was originally from Omaha. They don't live in Omaha anymore, but... I think where they live, they had them. Yeah. So I'm going to put a little orange on this little eyelid so I don't lose that. I'm just wiping off a little water. And when I'm thinking of it, a little orange under here. Yeah, that orange is really... So the downside of a quinacridone and cad yellow orange is that it's really transparent. You might not like always like that. I like it because I'll just add a little white and then come back and put some orange on top. But right now it's... Super transparent. I don't know, do hummingbirds have, I don't know, if, like this is a colorful one with a purple throat. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming there's different species, different kinds. I don't know what to call it. Mm, yeah, like a, a hummingbird, but this is a, well, a like blah, a, blah, blah, blah hummingbird. Like a Carolina wren, which is the one we were just talking about. So there's lots of wrens. Yeah. Yep. I, I, I assume. Well, and the one that the, um, did Bonita call it her photo kiss this? The booty one? Uh huh. And I then I did so. a traceable video, and then I have the painting, which I call my good side because I didn't want to use Bonita's title. It's a great title, but I just didn't want to encroach on it. You know, I didn't want to. Uh, it's her title. What was I going to say? Oh, it's a blue and green hummingbird. But maybe this one's blue and green on the back side because it has the green head. Yeah. You know, it might be the same humming, hummingbird as where I was going. I start to paint and I forget where I'm going. <laughs> and I stopped listening because I was reading. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I like the honesty. <laughs> so Mandy said, I'm thinking, and I'm going to, this is why I stopped listening because I was trying to sound this out in my head. Holbein's Luminous Holbein. Rose. Thank you. Um, whole, wait, yeah, I put the eye in the wrong spot. Holbein's, um, luminous rose neon light color would also look really nice for the background as well. Oh, yeah. Loving what you have so far. Yeah, that would punch it up for There's sure. There's like some opera pinks. I mean, it just depends on the brand, too. You have that really limey green. I don't yeah. know if it's very neon-y, though. Yep. No, it isn't. I didn't use it, but this would be... You kind of made a limey. If you didn't want to mix a lime green... It is a vivid lime green. I don't know if you'll be able to see the color. Oh, yeah. yeah it's on it's white. It's not very neon -y. No, but it's brighter than what I put in there. Mm -hmm. And actually, this tube tells you that it's basically a yellow green. Just kind of neat. It might even tell you the numbers, but I don't want to get it in focus. And Oh, I, I realized I didn't switch my glasses. I still have my new party glasses on. That, which means I can see out of them well. Yeah. And look down. It Good. took me a few tries. It took me three tries at the eye doctor. They had my, um, I don't know what you call it, but the height of where my pupils are way too high. And so I put the glasses on, and I'm trying to drive through the reading part. Cool. <laughs> and they, and it, they're just like, well, why don't you try it for a while? I'm like, no, you don't understand. <laughs> I have 85 pairs of glasses. I only need glasses for reading, and when I put these on, I'm not safe to drive. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah. You, you know. Your driver's license says you don't need glasses because no. you have such, <laughs> such I, I just, low. Yeah, I do it for convenience, so I'm not looking for readers all over the place, and because it's fun. 
anyway, it took a few tries, but they, they made it right, and I really appreciate it, and they were nice about it. But, you know, I, they, they originally just thought I was being a pill. Mm-hmm. Let's see, I'm trying to decide how to, what efficiently, what would be efficient to do next. Mm. Babs did the, oh, I could have Googled, but I should have Googled because I was like, yeah, I bet. But Babs said, just looked it up. There are over 330 species of hummingbirds. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. I'm going to put in the um, branch here. And I wonder if they're female to male or different in color, just like a cardinal or a blue jay, you know? Right, the males are pretty and the, yeah. the females are out of luck. I just think that's funny. Well, because they gotta, they got to blend in so you, they don't stick out in the tree when they're... That's true. Sitting on their eggs. They got to survive. They we don't, that means you don't care about the dudes then, huh? Yeah, I guess. I'm painting a little bit on the side. I don't know if that's even in. So if you mix, um, if you take an orange and you put a little black in it to mix a brown, if it looks too green to you, put some red or magenta in it. If it looks too pink to you, put some yellow in it. Hmm. So one thing about painting small though, it can be a little quicker, but it also can be a little fussier if you're doing what I'm doing. I'm do oh, I'm using a uh, number one Simply Simmons round. I just realized that the the little books that um, Bonita made. Oh yeah, they're sitting right there. Your the strap where your freckles one with the little backside of the kitty stitch. Um, the like the strap that keeps the book closed perfectly covers the little X booty hole. <laughs> <laughs> it censors it. I was going to use those for my announcements. I'm almost out of my, uh, almost used up my old notepad. Oh, mm -hmm. So the feathers get covered up here, or cover up the branch. I'm going really slow, but I don't know how to do this fast. It's dinky, yeah. It's okay, it'll get, I get a little nervous. I mean, not like I think you should paint fast. I think you should paint the speed that works for you. I just don't want to make this, I could make this a four hour painting. Yeah, just let me call you in between and distract you. Oh, there's that too. It'll make turn it, into four hours real fast. Make it your fault. Yeah. No, I, I would, I would keep going on all kinds of things. Because that's what I do. I enjoy it. I enjoy chilling out and painting a brown branch. You enjoy a good putz? <laughs> I enjoy a good putz. I need a t-shirt that says, I putz. A putzy painter or something mm -hmm. like I that. Just, well, I putz. Yeah, you do putz just in general, but I was trying to... I'm trying to be nice. No, like related to your painting. Oh. PP, putzy painter. Yeah. <laughs> I pee pee. Baby. We're back to Bonita's photo. <laughs> it's just kind of a weird little knot. I'm just going to squiggle on a little something, something there. Okay. I don't know how dry some of that is. So it's going to be shadowed here. I don't know if I even want to do that. I think I wanted to do that. I can see my brown separating. Can you guys see that? Can you see a little bit of red magenta in there? I don't know if you can see that. It's not a big deal. I'll just stir it back up. Let's do that. And let's just grab some straight up black. So I'm kind of trying to avoid black right next to where the little, here, let's put them in little claws are. This one actually shows two claws, but I'm just going to put put them in as one color for now. There, that'll help me. I 
So the up and down strokes kind of help define the branch. Stroke direction matters quite often, not all the time. Now I'll put a little, that's, my brush is too fat. Maybe we'll just go horizontal there after I just said brush, brush stroke direction matters. Because it's so little. I'll just kind of scoot some color. I don't know how well you can see this on the video. So value is more important than the color. There, that might be good enough to go. At least go over it. Okay, we're almost done with putsy stuff. We'll get into... I'm going to throw in some dots and spots so I don't forget about them. And if I paint over them, it's all right. It still might help me remember. And I don't know that I'm not even following the reference photo. I'm kind of just following. Oh yeah, there's like a line here. You can do what you want. I'm kind of following what I ended up doing on my painting more. I think we'll put the line there. I'm going to actually outline this to help me a little bit. Because I'm losing it. There. Freckles is in my chair in my in front of my big easel sleeping. She's taking a bath. Oh, is she taking a bath? She's taking a bath. Yay. Yeah, she's so much calmer at the six PM time slot. We, we did noon lies for several months or even longer. She never got used to it. Mm mm. Yeah, it was just like a shock every time I showed up. She's like, ah, ah. She never got used to when your father was working from home a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then shutting that door, she's like, don't shut that door. <laughs> this is, that's my window in there. Yeah, meow, 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 meow. Yep. This is my house. My rules. Yeah, she's here more often than any of us, so. Yeah, she's here the entire time, yeah. Uh, Babs asks, do you find these little paintings are good sellers? How do you price them? Yes, which is why I paint them, which is why I'm painting three of them, too. It's not just to have a Rachel Ray moment. Um, I sell these for $25. There's another gal that sells birds. She has a different style at the downtown, downtown gallery in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, she also sells them. She does wood panels, but she sells them for $25, too, also. So it's good that we're in the same price range for the same size. That just happened. I, I checked when I first started the gallery. She'd been already been there for a little over a year. Oh, sorry. I just hit my microphone. And I looked at her prices. I'm like, oh, good. <laughs> that works. Um, I don't, so I don't make much. As you're watching me paint this, I don't make much on the $25. Um, I do get a little faster. Like the third one I paint will be a little quicker because I kind of figure stuff out. I look at them a little bit like a sale at, at a store. You go in for the sale and you buy a couple other things. Mm. Oh yeah, the Costco rotisserie chicken. Yep. That's the same with the little ornament type things I do. That's the same thing as people, they sell well. They can be hard to keep up with because I can't, it takes me a while to paint them. I paint those assembly line too. I've got three green and teal backgrounds going now. Paint sunflowers on top of. There's a sunflower video where I did it live. So twenty-five dollars. Yep, they sell well. Especially birds, cardinals, flowers, bees. Was I not paying attention? Did you say how you initially decided on twenty-five? Um, I had them for gosh, fifty or so, in Nebraska City, the first gallery I was in, um, and they weren't moving at all. People just, people, people don't know, you know, they don't know how much time you might have spent on something. Mm -hmm. And it depends. I mean, if I was in Manhattan, probably could have totally sold them for 50. 
-hmm. You know, get my name out there a little more as a in the galleries. My name isn't out there. As, YouTube's helping a little bit with that. Um, you know, that would that could help raise the price. I would rather move them too than have them fill up my studio. Mm -hmm. I think I had them for fifty. I don't remember, yeah. Originally. And then so the five by sevens were like sixty-five. I'm putzing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pick up the speed. We'll get a bigger brush. It's not that much bigger. Let's see. What else do I have sitting here? I'm gonna try that one. This one's probably a quarter inch and this one might be a three eighths. I can Yeah, it's close to a three eighths. You'll know those brushes aren't always uniform. Even when you buy the same brand, same size, sometimes it'll be a little different. All right, so I'm going to take a putty color. Ooh, we are drying. This is just water in a fine mister. Used to be a glass cleaner bottle. Um, right before I left, Chase did tell me that, um, or I can't, I don't know if I made a comment or something. Um, but, uh, I made, um, I, he, sorry, my brain's freezing. <laughs> That's okay. Gives me time um, to paint. I had told him that he needed to, like, make an appearance one of these times. Like, just jokingly. And he was like, he's like, maybe for, like, the hundredth extravaganza. And then I'm like, hundredth of what? Like, are we talking hundred thousand, hundredth live? Like. Oh, you're talking appearance on the live. <laughs> yeah. Like, in, like in the opening. Mm -hmm. Like, and hey, I, everybody, this is Chase, like, man. 100 live. And so I just looked at how many lives we've done. I guess I could have kind of could have kind of done the math because there's 52 weeks in a year. And we usually take a couple weeks off. Um, but we have 44, so we're not even halfway. And I said that you would have to, I told him, I was like, you'll have to paint something super easy that you've painted a thousand times before because if he stayed any length of time through the painting, he would just be so distracting. <laughs> Oops, actually, I'm change my mind. That'd be fun. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't want to, though, no pressure. I, you know, I didn't want to... I don't know if I was so much worried about being on... People seeing what I look like as I was saying something. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I don't want to say anything. Well, I don't know if I if he was talking camera appearance. I assume he was talking, like, what I do. Oh. How I just hang in the back. Yeah, well, you actually were in my last um, uh, gallery visit. True. And that one got the most views, Em. Because they don't want to see me. They want to see you. Because I'm in thumbnail, you know. They want to see you. They saw me in the thumbnail and they just clicked real fast. I went back to the same <laughs> color. Well, what's nice is I can still see my spots. You could leave some pushed back and some can come forward. I'm going to work on the purple a little bit. Where's purple? There it is up here. Um, I'm going to grab some white. We'll just kind of put one value on and then build from there. Well, that's the same value as my background almost. Oh, you know what? I didn't do the beak. And I haven't done the head. So direction matters. It can help you too if you do it in your, this could be called sort of underpainting or blocking in or yeah, this bird's kind of got like a, like a lion's mane situation. It does. I didn't put in every little, on the other uh, hummingbird, I put in quite a few of the little feathers that pop up, little mm -hmm. C shapes. I didn't so much on this one because it was little. Hmm, I think I found what kind of hummingbird it is. Huh. It might even say on the reference photo that from the photographer. Oh, it totally could. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. Costa Rica. Oh, pretty. So it's not even native to the, it's fine that it's not native to the U.S. Just no hope of me seeing one then. Let's see, I need to decide, oh, my light's coming from over here. I can tell by the belly. Yeah, I don't see anything, but my I think My light's over, over this way. Uh, um, 
Calliope hummingbird. Mm. Is that how you say that? C A L L I O P E. Yeah, it's like an organ. Remember Gramps was talking about that at church that they're playing it like a calliope. It's like an old mm. circus. I think that's what that is. I could be wrong. So it comes to mind. So I think you're saying it right. Let's see, the face kind of goes straight down here. It's kind of hard with my brush. And I'm not getting, let's just grab some white because I lost it. Let's do this so I don't lose it. There. Okay. Calliope's hum a calliope hummingbird is um, standout feature is the magenta rays on the male's throat. Well, to me, they look purple. That could be the photo. Could be the photographer changed it. Maybe that is magenta. To me, it looks violet. Yeah, it looks purple in the photo online too. Oh, okay. Maybe it's just what they call. Well, um, not the one I'm looking at, but the one you he took the photo of. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put the beak in. I'm going to make it a little longer than it is. If it's not flowing like you like, add a little water. Kind of roll the brush in it. It's a little better. His neck feathers also look photoshopped in. <laughs> they do. They look funny. They really stick out. They look kind of funny. That's one thing about the little canvas is sometimes I don't like the texture that's popping up when I'm trying to paint sm a smooth line. Mm -hmm. But that's just me. I really shouldn't let it bother me. It's part of the painting. Um, I could get into ultra realism other than it would really cut my income. There we go. Did it take too long? That'd be brutal. Oh, I don't, I don't know if I'd mind it. Well, that's how a lot of my pet portraits... Well, my pet portraits started out as palette knife. Because mm -hmm. I was trying to stay loose, get texture, you know. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I was getting so real with the palette knife, I started to use a brush, but then they got even more real. Well, they're not ultra real. I guess. I real know. adjacent? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think of the one gal that I know here in Omaha that does really... What do they call that when it's... I don't know if they call it ultra realism. I thought it was hyper realism. Hyper realism. Thank well, you, you said that. Oh, did I? <laughs> yeah, you said it. Well, I thought I said ultra. Oh, maybe you did. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I'm just putting in some dots because it's fun. So you can get in trouble doing this on every one. I'm going to put in a couple of shadow lines. All right, green. You know, you didn't get back to me if I was taken, if Chase wanted to go out to dinner with our side. I'm, oh. Or did you? I don't know. Um, um I, he... I assume it's a no. Yeah, because we have to, his football people want to take him out. He's a popular and guy. I have, a, I'm cooking him dinner. Oh, yeah, that and gets to be too much. family dinner. And all the goodies, I made him goodies. Yeah, I get it. And we have HelloFresh. Which is lovely till Oops, I got somebody, one. like, invites you out, then you feel more inclined to, like, well, I already spent money on the HelloFresh. I gotta, I gotta eat it up. <laughs> yeah. It well, keeps us from eating out. But same with groceries, really. You can only, I mean, depending True. on what your plan. Excuse me, depending on what you're making. I'm just putting in blobs. I'm thinking, the sun's coming from here. Emily made me suns. It's kind of big, but I think it'll stick on the side there.
So I am painting shapes. That is kind of one thing nice about this. It really, the colors really help you like paint shapes and areas. I think that's nice about this photo. And I also tried to follow it, not completely, but in a way to where it might be helpful to you guys. Sometimes I go off course of the reference photo. Is it uncomfy to hold it and paint it? A little bit. Okay. But still not focusing? No, Leanne just asked if it was possible to get closer. Yeah, it's little. And he's kind of falling off to the side. But you don't have to hold. You can... I don't know what that means. Um, he was just like kind of on the edge of the frame. Too. Oh, did I get pushed? I pushed too far to the right? Yeah. Okay. My tape only works so well. I have to look at it. I'm just dot dabbing. Going very putsy. This is putsy. Putsy Hummingbird 101. <laughs> a putz party. That's what we're having. Oh, and a putz party. I'll see what's hard is I gotta set it down. I can do it. I'll try to remember to pick it up sometimes. Yeah, just sometimes. It doesn't have to be all the time. Because it is pretty fine detail -y, yeah. It is. Well, that's what I was debating about the A to Z. We'll see. We can always stop the A to Z if it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Or the little paintings. I don't know. I think it's hard to see any of it. You know, if I'm doing a big thing on my uh, easel, if I'm not working on a big area, it's hard for you guys to see what I'm up to. Mm -hmm. So I try to save a big area for what's on my easel. See, I looks a little sketch right now. I might throw a little. That's going to be too dark. Sometimes I can tell before I put it up there, and sometimes I don't know till I do it. And then I go, ah, it scared me. I've got the eye kind of big, which I, I do that sometimes anyway. Well, that might not have been dark enough. I could also bring it in some. Go down and brush size. Ah! Almost dropped it. <gasps> At least I didn't yell too loud. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't loud at all. So what's nice is I can kind of just bring it out over to, onto the background too. Very cohesive. Yeah. Trying to see. Okay, so I could take like a little black is kind of strong. I could actually bring that up a little bit. That might help it look not quite so big. I really like that background. I think that I like the um the other one better? painted lives better. Yeah, I think I do too. Hmm. I didn't, but I, I think I do too. Mm -hmm. Gosh. It's funny. I, you know, I don't get like mad at myself or angry. I'm just like, I don't like that. But you learn to just like, okay, I can fix it later or I may like it. What color do I have on my brush? Or I may like it later too. Mm -hmm. You kind of learn to, don't judge too quick. I mean, I think that looks like a hot mess. But I'm not there yet. I'm not, you know, I don't have the layers. It's all about the layers. Oh, it looks sweet. It's you can tell now. You can tell the lag of like the where I can see it. Yeah. Yeah, he looks sweet. I'm just kind of. I think it might help too if I um. It might be too much. If I fill in the bottom of his beak too, it's kind of an orangey brown. Mm-hmm. It should be dry enough. I think I'll just let that dry and sneak up. That'll help too. All right, let's go back. Oh shoot, you know it'll help. Maybe if I do this, I scooted too far right. Maybe if I put my sun here, it'll keep me from going right and then you'll know the sun's over there. <laughs> what was I gonna do? Oh, let's grab. I've used this liner brush enough that it's starting to split. Let's. Darken the eye up a little bit. I 
I'm just dabbing. A little dab will do ya. I'm gonna grab some almost straight up phthalo blue green shade. All right, let's let that dry. I think that's gonna look a little better. Oh, it's starting to come, it's starting to come along. Let's grab some dark purple. So I went back to my 3 8 inch flat. It's a craft brush from Michaels. It's a number 10. And some. Let's make that one stand out a little bit more. I'm just wiggling to kind of push it down into the canvas. You might not have to do that. Oh, and I'm actually going lower than I probably should. If I'm going to somewhat follow the reference photo. But those little square rectangular brush strokes can totally save feathers. I'll bring that one down a little lower just for randomness. And then if you get little specks on your canvas because of this canvas texture, you can let that help you. If you can, sometimes I can't. It's quiet tonight. Mm. Leanne says, love the sun and holding it close helps. Thank you. Love okay. this adorable Hummer. <laughs> I'll do that. Well, your bigger brushes. Now you've moved on to a bigger brush, too, so that helps. You can see it better? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think it's just like the... It's hard. The, well, and you're kind of layering, like, similar color on similar color, so it's... it's you know, really. I mean, unless we have, like, a really up-close camera, it's going to be hard to catch. It is going to be. When you paint the, with the itty bitty brush. We'll have to see what he looks sweet though. other YouTubers do. I'm just putting in some dots to kind of mimic the little teeny circle, circular feathers, but I'm not going to put, you could put them all in. I'm looking for a more medium purple. Mm -hmm. Kind of. There we go. I like that yours is punchier though. Well, I guess that's also the, um, the, uh, what you call it? What's punchier, hun? The, your coloring compared, it's also your printout though. Oh, that's a pretty good printout for my printer. Mm -hmm. I could add a little, you know what I could do and I didn't do in the other one? I'm gonna get a little funky, let's add a little magenta. Because sometimes light purple is sort of chalky and washed out. I'm throwing a little magenta. Might make me happy, might make me cry. We'll see. That might do. That might be kind of interesting. A lot of dabbing. Okay, I'm going to... Grab some white and maybe we'll do some light, my my yellow background color. My brush is really loaded. <laughs> Fully loaded. Oh, see, if it is not nearly as white as I thought it might end up being. Let's um put a couple feathers over. Oh, he's got a couple that stick out. I kind of want to do that. And remember, I'm going to grab a little brush and put a couple of wispies. That already kind of fin not finished it, but... Does that help? Helped a lot. Does that help? Yeah. Isn't that funny? Yes. Sometimes I'll save white for last so I don't use too much of it because, see, I keep going with it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like chocolate or potato chips. I don't... Don't stop. Yeah, that already helped. Oops, wrong puddle. I think this is gonna dry to where I can't see it. I might need to I might need to come back with my yellow and then wait for it to dry and come back with some white and just go straight to white. That would be smart, but it really isn't value giving me enough of a value change. 
How do I know? Some of it's practice. Some of it's what happened when I put it down. It's a funny, it, I mean, look how it sticks out. It sticks way out over mm -hmm. here. It's funny. It's like he's puffing or, or something. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone. You know, it isn't looking too bad when I get off the top of it. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's looking kind of done. It kind of felt like like it, you weren't going to finish, and then I feel like you're close to finishing. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, when you do the little, de I do the little detail so I don't lo lose them. It's like, yeah. oh, it's like snooze city. Mm-hmm. No, I'm going to... Um, that was very, ooh, that was very, like, Bob Ross vibes when he has, like, it's, you know, it show like, it all of a sudden, in five seconds, the tree is now there. Yeah. When five seconds ago, the tree was not there. What's kind of Bob Ross vibes? I'm going to put a little white dot here, which isn't anywhere, really, but it'll help define his neck a little bit, give it a little contrast. I could also put... If it's, you want more contrast, then put a little darker color in your background, right where you want it, and then just kind of wiggle it out so it blends in. That was the tip worth waiting for for an hour. <laughs> Sorry, that was sarcasm. <laughs> not everybody might not understand. Not everybody's going to be speaking English, and they won't understand that sarcasm. Oh. Probably should sh sh shy away from sarcasm. Just putting in like little horizontal dots for, for the feet. And then you could kick it up a notch on this one. This one, pr probably neither one would be in the sun. They aren't. But you can bend reality a little bit in your world. Oh, it's not much of a value change. Oh, you probably can't see it. Let's see, am I in frame? Well, that's not much of a value change. That might make it a little more interesting. And I'm not crazy, now that I look at it, I'm not crazy about my branch. Do I want to go darker? Or do I want to make what's behind it darker? Or you could call it, you could say it's going to be a lost edge. There's lots of options. That's not going on very well for me. My branch got a little bigger. Do we like it darker? What do you think? And when it gets to that point? Yeah, it stands out more. Yeah, I could make the background darker to, if you want it to stand out more. If you want a lost edge, then you keep the values similar. I'm just kind of scribbling on some black there. Does that make it make more sense? And then leave the edge and come back with a, a lighter color. It's too light, but it's a little wet. So I'm going to wipe off my brush and just kind of soften it. It might be too much. I'm going to have to come back and darken it. I don't know. That might work. This needs to be dark over here, maybe. I don't know if I like my lump on the end here yet. It can be hard to do. They can be hard to like. It doesn't. I don't see it, and I'm like, I hate that lump. So I don't see well, it. Well, interesting. It's really a hot mess on this one. But I like it. Isn't that funny? I, I quit fixating on it. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, if I pick it up, I don't have to hunch so bad. I'm going to have to get you one of those, like, it's basically like a, like a hump or like a hill thing that you, like, slowly, you start laying on it on, like, the lowest setting, and then you slowly lay on it, like, at a higher and higher setting to, like, correct people that sit, or just, like, I guess, alleviate the hunch that you, like, the ache of, like, hunching over a computer screen or a desk or something. I sit against the wall in the hallway at night 
Mm -hmm. I stretch my neck out and I lay on that foam roller. Oh yeah, your foam roller would kind of do the same thing. And I try to stretch out my neck and my uh, front, what will those be? Your armpit muscles? <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, I need to do it way more than I do. Okay. That might want it too brown on me. I don't know, kind of glows. You need someone to step on your back and yank your arms back. <laughs> yeah, I do. I've been really working on my shoulder muscles. I should have you feel them after the live. They're getting strong, but I don't know that they're pulling back. Ooh, you can be able to fight me. You know? <laughs> yeah. I don't know that there'd be a highlight there. If I just put one in. I don't think I put one in this one. Oh, I've already varnished it. I could put one in and varnish it, but I think I'll do that later. I forget stuff on paintings. I forgot the bee wings. Oh yeah. I could be done. I need to decide what I like, don't like. Am I okay with the little texture showing through? How do I like the values? I did this one a little differently. This one has more um, like dot, 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 dots. I hope that's in frame. Okay, look up. We could put some, grab a little black. That's not showing at all. It does add a little interest. Okay, let's put the white on there and I, we might call it done. Oh, you know what I also kind of want to do is I think I want to make, um, what color I want. This is like a quarter inch flat brush. Let's put a couple, I changed my mind. Let's put a couple little, so it shows that I've got some stuff hanging out. What I was going to do was just kind of darken this a little more. You could totally call it done. I mean, you didn't come up with your, any of your art lessons or tip. I only forgot about those. No, well, you don't have to. It's probably, I don't know. I left my textbook here. I've got 15 minutes left before we get to an hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah. We almost, you almost finished that whole hummingbird in the time slot. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just playing now. You know, smooth things out. What do I like? What do I don't like? Do I want this darker? Kind of dry brush over it. Push it back a little more. I hope that was in frame. I distracted you, so you probably weren't. Plus, you have a delay. You wouldn't know. I think it is. I haven't. Yeah. You wouldn't know if yeah, I went off. This with you dry brushing was in frame. Okay. You wouldn't know anyway. It's it's the lane. What what you're referencing? I know I have to wait a minute because I don't mm -hmm. know what you're referencing. <laughs> I'm just putting some orange over it just to kind of make it. Um, I don't know, a little richer, kind of glazing it. I'm not kind of. I am. Yeah, I like that. The orange is transparent, so I'm just kind of softening and glazing. Nice stuff. All right, let's put some white on that tummy. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Do we want to go? Let's go bigger brush. Oh, shoot. You can pull out like a two-inch brush. <laughs> no. But I might also put like a little bit more than I did on the other one. A little more. Mm, let's go a little dark over here too, which I might end up putting back in. I'm just kind of thinking kind of like if you're painting a ball, like a round ball, you know, the curve and the values. We're going to paint an apple, apple next week. That'll be a lot like painting a ball. Mm-hmm. And I think the... Okay, now I need to let that dry a little bit. I'm working on the top like of this guy. You, the apple you picked has um, a hard direction of light. Oh, yeah, it does. I'm just going to make the greens a little richer up here. A little well, I don't know, a little something, a little something, something. I think I like that better. Yeah, that eye looks pretty good now. It was bugging me. Oh, the beak looks pretty good. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know if I like the purple area. I like the purple area. I'm cleaning my brush. It looks cute. So one thing we can do is um like put in a little he I looks kind of determined. Yeah, he does. Does he look a little happier here? It does look a little happier here. That's because I have the eye going. Um, hmm. I like it. Yeah, okay. no, you're okay, honey. If you want to make it less determined. Open up the eye a little more. Oh, uh, yeah, I made it. I can't get my head in here. <laughs> I don't know if you guys just saw my nose and my glasses. Uh, it's not going to work. Let's grab a little, oh, that's dried up. I don't know if I can do it, so little. Okay, bring the eye up a little, that might be too much. Oh, and I take it off camera because I, and then, so you want it you want it more of like a a doorway arch rather than a comma shape. I don't know if that makes sense. That makes sense. Let's see, I don't know if that's gonna work. I'm gonna bring it. Hopefully that's on in the frame. I'm gonna bring that down. Oops, I missed my and then I need like a just a lighter color with some white in it. See if I can just make more of an arch. I don't know. Are you, you're, you don't have to get rid of this determination. No, I didn't have to. He's a sweet boy on his own. Let me know if that looks a little less determined or not. It's okay if it doesn't, hun. Yeah, it does. Yeah, this one's determined. That's why I painted it, because I did it on the first one too. But you're right, it doesn't in the reference photo. That has to do with the arch on the over the top of the eye. It needs to be taller. Mm -hmm. it need, I'm going to exaggerate. It needs to go like more like that, and I had it going more like that. Okay. Okay. Let's do white. I'm going to do white. Got all sidetracky. My brush is all dirty. Clean it off. I'll turn on some lights, and we might call it good. Oh, I was going to put. That's what I was going to do because I was waiting for my tummy to dry. I was going to grab some of this lime green, which dried. That's too much green. So bigger puddles will stay moist longer and you can poke into them if they skin over, like if you haven't sprayed them in a while. So some people are like, I don't want to waste paint, but if you put out a big, bigger puddle than I did even here, it'll buy you some time. So I put on the top of this one like a green dot. Right there. Might be fun to just kind of put a couple green dots mm -hmm. around it to give it a little, to entertain it. Also, it'll kind of, of course, you can do too much. It'll, it might help direct you a little bit. Oh, I've got kind of one right there. We'll just add to that. While I was waiting for the tum tum to dry. All right, I think it might be dry enough. Because I did enough sidetracky things. <laughs> okay, I'm running out of clean white. Just trying to be random. Yeah, I like the... I like the dots, because then kind of also matches the white in his belly. They go well together. Okay, how far do I want to go? I probably should stop. We could be done. If you want to pump up that orange a little bit. Maybe. Put the white, put some white on it, let it dry, and then put some more orange back on top of it. We might be done. I need to look at it. That looks pretty. Get a screenshot of this one. I might like the darker branch or b branch yeah, better. I like it. 
Here, this one has a lighter branch. No, not really. Kinda, it's different. I could put some more texture back in on the top of his head. I mean, you can, you can play forever. Is there anything else? I'm look. I'm waiting for the delay so I can see it in, on my iPad. <laughs> Anybody have any questions? I hope you like this one. It's really pretty. I love the color. In if it one. were me, I'd watch a little bit of the beginning, skip ahead, watch some of the middle. You know what I mean? Use the traceable, look at the reference photo, and paint it. You'd um, be part of replay. <laughs> yeah, I'd be part of the re re replay crew. Um, but then I watch other artists, I think it's because it's my own video too, I watch other artists' videos start to finish. Mm -hmm. Do we need to, we could get, we could do too much, like if I put in a, put in an orange. Oh yeah, that looks pretty. Is it too dark maybe on the right? Bab says, love them both. Thank you. Yeah, that's what makes it original. They're not the same. Thanks for coming, Babs. I really appreciate it. I'm going to grab a little of my purple, a little white. Did I kind of lose my, I kind of lost my, my value changes. Now is that going to be too, it's going to dry darker. So I'm going for a little bit more purple, deeper purple. Bonita says, beautiful with the, the star eye emoji. Yeah, I really like this guy. It's pretty. You can keep glazing and adding layers. Yeah, I like the little glaze of straight up magenta that I just kind of let the brush run out. I think that's red. I think that's yummy. Okay, guys, I'm done. Emily, any questions? Oh, you didn't figure out how to, you said you figured out how to kick them out, the bots, but you can't. No, I didn't. Well, but we, we, I hide them from the channel and it does it, it'll like delete them later in the, once the video is processed. Oh, it won't do it on the fly? Nope. I was trying to think when I watch other YouTubers, I don't really watch their chat. I don't see it in other, like when I, people I see, I don't see it in other chats, but. Well, there's gotta be a way. We'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Huh. That's annoying. Well, it deletes the message, but it doesn't delete the name, you know? Well, then we don't care about it. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. And you said that last time, but it just, I thought it would get rid of them. No. Nope. Uh, Susie G says, gorgeous birdie. Thank you. Oh, thank you for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate getting to know you guys. It just has broadened my horizons. I learned from so much from you guys. I love the Facebook group. There's a lot of talented people in there. It's so fun to see what they're working mm -hmm. on. I, I super appreciate the support. We couldn't make this work without you guys. I'm going to say goodbye. Um, do you think it's okay? I think it's okay to say bye. Okay, guys. Well, thanks so much. Cindy says thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Great big happy art hugs. And I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.